I used to be able to, to make money. Like I could wake up that morning and say, all right, I need to make $3,000 today. And by the time my head hit the pillow that night, $3,000 was mm-hmm. in my bank account. Mm-hmm. And that's not a way to run a business. Manifesting <laughs> is not a way to run a business. Let me just say that. I know it's icing things. on the top, right? But it's yeah, not the- so Let's do some projections. Let's mm-hmm. do profit and loss. Let's do, let's plan, let's strategize. Yeah. Manifesting is not a business strategy, <laughs> but <laughs> I think not a business strategy. Yeah. So I got to the point where that wasn't working anymore. And, and I literally ended up homeless. I ended up evicted had to call a girlfriend to say, hey, can I come live with you? And that was so difficult because at this point, I was someone who was traveling across the country and speaking. I had written a book. I had done, I was on TV and radio on a regular basis. And I was homeless. I was homeless. And that was so hard for me because number one, I never wanted anybody to think I was trying to pretend to be something I wasn't. Right, right. And that wasn't the case because I would, I never stood out here and said, oh, I'm perfect. I got it all yeah. figured out. I've been very careful to never say uh-huh. that. Sure. And, but at the same time, if I thought to myself, okay, well, if I've helped all these people to start their businesses, to build their brands, to be successful, if they see me struggling, mm-hmm. will they somehow believe that they can't be successful? Ooh. And I had to stop and turn that around and say, well, no, what people need to see is that in spite of the struggle, in spite of mistakes, you still can make an impact. You don't have to be perfect to make an impact. Okay. That's a mic drop moment. And I think, you know, I, you know, I teach the mindset stuff and what happens is the little voices in our heads could have easily said to you, who's going to listen to you? You're washed up. You should just go get a job as a waitress. Like nobody's going to want what you have. Like it could focus on what's wrong with you and keep you stuck. So how do you, like, unfortunately, most of us didn't have your mama, right? (laughs) Sadly, I was not raised by your mother. And so if you don't have that fight that, or that, you have like an unstoppable, like, oh, hell no, it's mine, right? So if somebody doesn't have that foundation and they find life like kind of kicks them or, or, you know, we go through seasons, what would you say to somebody? Well, there's a few different things. And, and really, you're the expert on this because a big piece of it is mindset. Yeah, right, absolutely. And whatever those voices are in your head that are saying you can't, you're not the one, yeah, you don't yeah. have what it takes, how do you reprogram yourself? Yeah, so you this is what the voice is, but then to be able to counter that and say, well, no, this is what's true. Yeah. And from a very practical standpoint, so let's say you are in business and you are consulting and you want to help people do X. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe you're not in that position yet where the people you want to serve will see you as the person that can help them do mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. So let's take a step back. Who are the people that will look at you mm-hmm. as that, that person right. who can help them get where they want? You may not be at that ideal client, but there's mm-hmm. still someone that Absolutely. you are uniquely gifted to serve based on your own experiences. Because of your screw ups, because of your insecurities, because of your fears, you're going to be able to serve a certain group of people in a way that other people who don't get that won't. You just can't let that stop you. 